best entertainment on the earth. Tune in for Comics with Birch. Hey everybody, this is Birch, and I'm going to try and navigate this entire video as best I can. But it, it may be difficult, I'm just saying. This, this topic may get a little um, unwieldy, uh, if, you, if you will. All right, so here's a viewer question, um, and it goes, well, you know, I'm just going to read it. Hey, Perch, you often talk about how there's not hidden agenda. Oh, Jesus, we're going to go into this. Sorry, I'm going to read this question without comment. Hey, Perch, you often go on about how there's not hidden agendas in comic books, and yet it's been a consistent fact that a number of the publishers and people working in comics make men feel bad for liking boobs. What's wrong with looking at the female form in a comic book? After all, these are supposed to be the pinnacle of human condition. These are superheroes who are fit and trim. There's nothing wrong with a good pair of boobs. And you cannot deny that the comic companies are currently trying to remove them from comics. Smaller chests, ladder chests, and a general looking down on men for appreciating the female form. You can't deny that this isn't happening. So what's your answer for it? Okay, I always love those uh, those kind of more adversarial questions. Uh, that's my. Hey, I don't know. Okay. All right, so you want me to answer this truthfully to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. If you look at comic books across the board, um, and the board is not a reference to the, you know, the way that the female chests look in comic books. Uh, if you look across the board at general comic books, breast size is smaller in the illustrations than it used to be. Now, in some cases, it's smaller to the point of absurd. I think there's been some images, particularly in Marvel, where the characters look just bizarre. They, they don't, it's just bizarre. It's not just that they're, you know, flat. It's like they've drawn them kind of weirdly muscular. Like there was kind of an embarrassment to draw breasts. I, I mean, just, it, it, it just doesn't, it looks weird. It doesn't, it doesn't even look like the female form anymore. And in some cases, uh, the nineties had, uh, you know, absurd boobs. And, and what I mean by that is, and look, everybody has their own taste, but if you look at some of the uh, creations coming out of, again, more Marvel in the 90s, uh, sometimes the breasts were abs absurd. And, I, you know, it's like what a Triple H, not the wrestler, but, you know, size of the chest. It just it, it just looked, looked super weird. And there were comics where, you know, the you know, boobs are going in different directions and it just, it just looked altogether strange. It's not unlike that picture of the enchantress that Rob Liefeld did where her legs are like eight feet. And then the body is like three feet on top of it. It looks really weird. Now, you know, it, it, and, and that was Rob Liefeld who was considered one of the better artists at the time. You had a lot of clone artists who would like go for, you know, the female form and it, it just looked strange. I, I think that I, to me, the 90s, uh, there were a lot of good-looking uh, female artists out there. Again, you want a person who can draw just an amazing set of boobs. Art Adams is amazing at boobs. No doubt about it. Uh, I, I, his, his drawings look great. J. Scott Campbell, again, great. Uh, but, you know, there were plenty of artists out there that weren't so great. And, the, you know, the female form looked bizarre. If you compare a 2018 Marvel comic to a 1994 Marvel comic, uh, there's a massive difference between how the character looked. Look how, um, for example, Eric Larson, who frequently beats up on you know men who are just after boobs. Look at how he drew Mary Jane in some of his Spider-Man comics. Hell, look at how he draws his current characters in Savage Dragon. There's there's giant balloons on the chest of many of those, his drawings. If you then look at kind of how some of the characters are being drawn today, uh, they're they're nowhere in that vein. And so I think that there's there's kind of a there's there's a few things going on here. There's one some of the uh, you know the the female form in the '90s was drawn to I don't know a, a, an absurdity that would make Oda uh, of One Piece uh, fame blush just 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 kind of bizarrely over the top. But the ones who are good at it were, you know, drew beautiful women, certainly on, on the page. No doubt about it. Uh, absolutely. And then flash forward to today, 
And there is, I mean, I, I, I've to ask this question before to editors, and I've been told, no, no, we're not doing it. No, we're not suggesting that the, the the women are drawn less sexy. We're not. We never suggest that. But that cannot be true. I mean, there's. It, it just it looks looks weird from time to time what goes on, particularly where Captain Marvel is concerned. Now, not as much in the current um, comic, but there was a period there when, uh, like Kelly Sue and others were on Captain Marvel, where Captain Marvel is just drawn every which way. Like she would go from being concave to, you know, double D to all like just all over the place. And me being me, I, I would prefer they pick one breast size and stick with it. Whatever it, whatever it happens to be, I, I think just stick with it. And since it was established one way, it seems kind of weird. Like, what is even going on? Are the, is, the, are her, is her power set, you know, stored in her breasts? And that when she uses her powers, they deflate? I, like, I, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, uh, there's, I think that it would be a complete lie to say that there hasn't been some editorial direction um, saying that the, the female form needs to be toned down. Now, what's strange about that, I mean, again, and I'm a, look, I, keep in mind, I think if you're really after, you know, boobs, there's amazing places for you to go on the internet. It turns out that there is, they, they have porn on the internet and a lot of it is free. It's just out there. Hell, you can, you can get it in just Google search if you just search for the right words. So I, I think that if you're really after, you know, porn, I think that there's lots of, I, I, I would not go for a comic book first. That wouldn't be my go-to to say, I, I really feel like some porn. I think I'm going to pick up this copy of the Avengers and see what it has in store for me. That would be a weird place to go get porn when there's, it's readily available in lots of other places. But that said, you know, uh, beautiful, uh, idealistic, uh, women, uh, drawings of women, uh, you know, I, I, that, that might be a reasonable place. You know, comic books, it'd be a reasonable place to go get it. And before you say, well, that's sex and it doesn't have to be that way and blah, 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 blah. Um, I would say the hypocrisy is that the men are still being drawn with, you know, eight packs, uh, you know, just complete ripped, Nightwing, his, his his ass is on point. He is bending and flexing and stretching, and it is it, like there is no like they're not drawing Spider Man like with a, a floppy gut or uh, you know like he's he's swinging through the sky and he's got some man boobs jiggling around in there. Like they're not they're not doing any of that with the male characters. The male characters are continuing to be you know carved out of Marvel Olympian level physiques. Uh, that, that, that's consistent. They're not, they're not drawing like uh, Tony Stark with a weak chin or any of that. So I, 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 I could sign on board. If you're saying, Hey, look, you know, we're not going to go for this sexy over the top illustrations for the women because it's, you know, it just, it, it's, we, we want to provide more realism. You know, I, I don't think that's what comic books are for. I think if you're having a, a space adventure where, you know, Galactus, the planet eater, is going to attack the scrolls again, and in comes Quasar. I, I mean, is that really a time to, like, we need to get realism in the human form? I, eh, I don't think so. But regardless, if you say we're going to do realism, and then you apply that to only one gender, the female gender, that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem like you're actually doing what you say you're going to do. I think if you're going to have, uh, you know, realism, you're going to tone down the unrealistic body types of one sex, you should do it in both. If, if that's your goal, you know, do it, do it consistently. Um, you know, I, I've heard the arguments. It's like, yeah, but women are more the target of uh, unnatural, you know, body expectations and everything else. And men, you know, nobody cares if the man is, you know, getting love handles or gut, they're still viable. I, I'm not sure any of that really holds true as much as it did. Like, I, I don't know. I, 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 I work with and around a, you know, plenty of people of all body shapes and sizes and the people in upper management are all not Victoria's secret models. I'm just, just saying so, but, but regardless uh, of all that, um, to me, it's consistency. If you're going to tone down in one gender, you got to do it in the other. And that you just, you just have to, I, I don't, I think otherwise you're, you're not really doing what you, you claim you're doing. Uh, look, make no mistake about it, whether it's, you know, a Frank Cho or, a, you know, again, an Art Adams, like I said, J. Scott Campbell, uh, you know, lots of artists draw a really good looking woman 
and uh, Brett Blevins always for me. I, I I thought Blevins always did amazing looking women. They were just the best in in just just really good, cool looking women. They weren't huge. Like when he was on New Mutants, you didn't see like uh, Rain or Mirage running around there with just giant you know breasts bigger than their head. They they were you know whatever realistic means when you've got somebody shooting off spirit arrows on top of their winged Pegasus horse and another woman turning into a, you know, a werewolf, but it was still, I mean, they, they were, but they look good, did a good job. Uh, I, I don't know. I, again, I don't know how many people are picking up comic books these days wanting to see great looking breasts, but I do think it's weird that, you know, they've gone so over the top to try and downplay one size and not the other. And I, I, it just, uh, it, 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 it comes off weird. And, uh, and again, so this person wrote me a challenging mail. I'm not going to argue with you. There's, there's definitely been a deprioritization of breasts and, and the female form in these comic books. No doubt about it. It's definitely occurred. And I think that, um, you know, you, you can do whatever you want with that, but it's true. I, and no matter how much people protest, there's definitely been a shift in how women are rendered in comics. And, I, you know, I, the, the reasons are what we've all heard, you know, sexism and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but then I think I think that it needs to be done both directions. I don't know. I, I mean, to me, this is a hard one to kind of talk about, no pun intended, because it is, uh, I, you know, I, I, I agree I don't know that it matters terribly to me, but it matters. It, the, the thing that matters is not the exciting answer. The thing that matters to me is the fact that it's uh, it's it's not consistent, and that it it just it, it seems bizarre that uh, you know you get a character rendered one way for a couple pages and then rendered a radically different way for another couple pages. Like I, that's a, that's the part that really annoys me. I, I think that you know go stick with what you got. Um, in terms of this, this, uh, this highly desiring to see a good looking pair of breasts in a pair in a comic, I mean, sure, why not? But, uh, to me that goes along almost with good art. The other, the other part of this argument is you could say, is it, are, is it really that the breast size has been reduced and the female form has been kind of deprioritized or is it the art in general is not what it once was? Because it strikes me that like the really great artists are still, you know, putting out pretty good looking women. And, you know, a lot of the art that gets criticized, the stuff that gets shown up is like, look at this horrible picture of, you know, Carol Danvers. It's like, if, if this artist was drawing any character, male or female or, you know, werewolf, it would look pretty terrible. Like, I, I mean, this, this isn't, this is just bad art. It's not, uh, I mean, sure, the breasts are there, but or not there, as the case might be, but uh, the art itself is just not very good. So I, I, maybe the problem is just the art. Anyway, I don't know what I think. Ah, there you go. I navigated that one okay. It's all good. How about you? Do you like breasts? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and thanks for listening.